Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the book of Philippians chapter 2, verse 7 today as we're working through this section. There's a lot in here. Let's read from the text and then we'll think about it a little bit together. Now it's talking about Jesus and here's what it says. But made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. So Jesus, Jesus who is God himself, Jesus who is one of the three persons of the Godhead, we talked about that yesterday, Jesus made himself of no reputation. Underneath this in the original Greek language is a word, the word kenosis, it means emptying, and Jesus was God, is God. He emptied himself, though, of some of his divine attributes, and he came and took a human form, a human body just as human as yours and mine. Some people, by the way, say this couldn't possibly happen. If Jesus did that, he'd be guilty of sin and all that nonsense. What we want to do is when we understand what sin is, we go, we go by what the Bible teaches. We don't go by long-standing traditions. We are born, you know, effectively damaged. We're born twisted. We're not quite the way we should be. I happen to believe as I study the Bible, and this is one of the texts, Jesus took a body as human as yours and mine. He took a body that was fallen. You're not guilty for having a fallen body. I'm not guilty because, because I, I have to wear glasses to see at certain distances. Uh, it's, it's just a, a physical piece of, of damage that I have because I'm in a, a sin-damaged world. Jesus took a fallen human body. He never sinned in it. He chose to obey the Father always in it, and that makes him our perfect example. Our text says, he made himself of no reputation. Literally, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant or a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. So Jesus came like us so that we would have his example. Can it be done? Can I live a holy life in a, in a human body? Can I live a holy life in a damaged human body? You know, if I was Adam, you know, maybe it'd be easy. Well, I'm not Adam. You're not Adam. Jesus wasn't in a human body like Adam. Jesus wasn't in some kind of a hybrid body or kind of a half pre-Adam and half post-Adam, pre-fall, post-fall. Jesus took one in other places like the body of Abraham. He's of the seed of Abraham, Romans 1 verse 3. Abraham was fallen. You and I were in a fallen body. Jesus took a fallen body and he was victorious over sin all the time in that body. Was he tested? Did he have uh, pulls and temptations coming at him? Yes, and that's maybe a topic for another place where we look at it. But today, just be glad that Jesus, Jesus, came in the likeness of men. He came so that you and I would have an actual example. Christianity can be lived. Jesus did it. He's our example. We are to follow in his footsteps. May, may God help us do that. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we are so pleased that Jesus took this remarkable step, came down, down into his creation so that we could see that it can be done by the Holy Spirit that Jesus had, by the Holy Spirit that we can have, we can live, we can be victorious over the impulses, cultivated impulses, inherited impulses, whatever whatever inclinations we might have towards sin, they can be overcome through, through your power, Lord. Jesus did it, and you show us the way. Help us, Lord, to trust in you, trust in your promises, and be our beautiful Savior so that the world can see that knowing Jesus makes the difference. Part of that possibility is found in this very verse. We give thanks to you in Jesus' name. Amen. So God will be with you and with me. He came and he took a body like you and me. God be with you today as we think about these astonishing, powerful, loving, indisputable Bible truths.